babies! Welcome back to my channel! This is Teacher Fredeline Miranda at your service. On this video, you will learn on how to construct an orthographic drawing in mechanical form. It means you will draw with the help of the drawing instruments. On this session, you will learn the following. Number one, enumerate the steps in constructing orthographic views. Number two, construct orthographic views. And number three, follow safety practices in drawing. To draw the orthographic views of the given pictorial drawing, first is to study the object. How many surfaces are there on the pictorial drawing? If your answer is 5, you are absolutely correct. We have here 1, Two, three, this is four and five. Let us label the surfaces with capital letter A, B, C, letter D, and letter E. If we're going to project on the top, What surfaces are being projected? If your answer is A and E, you are correct. How about on the front view? What are the surfaces being projected? Correct. Letter B and letter C. How about on the right side view? Very good. D is being projected. This time, let us study the sizes of the views or the edges. We're going to get the length, the height, and the width of the object. Okay. What is the length based from the measurement? Okay. The length of the top or the length of the front is 5.5 centimeter. How about the height? The height of the front is the height of the right side. We have here 3.5 plus 1 centimeter. The overall height is 4.5. How about the width? The width of the top is equal to the width of the right side. We have here 4 plus 1.5. We have 5.5 centimeter. Okay. This time, let us establish the space needed between the views and calculate the center of the drawing. Then, proceed to the following steps. Step number one. Draw vertical and horizontal axis. Okay. Let us use our 
2 square 4 the construction of our vertical and a horizontal axis the T square and we have here the 45 degrees triangle okay. let us draw the vertical line and draw the horizontal line okay that is the first step in drawing or constructing the orthographic views step number two determine the views lay out the principal measurement by indicating marking lines according to the given dimensions of the length the height and the width of our object using our foot rule okay let us lay out the length which is 5.5 from 0 to 5.5 that is in between 5 and 6 okay the length is 5.5 Okay. We have here the height is 4.5 from 0 to 4.5. Okay. 4.5. Okay. Let us assign space between the front and the top. Any dimension will do. Okay, let us try the gap between each views is 2 cm. Okay, let us assign space here. 2 cm. Okay, next is we're going to get the width of our object. The width of the top is 5.5 from 0 to 5.5. Okay, let us lay out here on the top 5.5 Okay, did you follow? Great! Step number 3 Construct the enclosing box of the top view and the front view by projecting the marking lines horizontally and vertically okay we're going to use our t square and our triangle 45 by 45 by 90 degrees okay let us follow the markings here the length okay. and horizontally okay. we're going to project here another the width of the top and the height of our front view and the right side view step number four construct diagonal line 45 degrees angle okay again we're going to use our triangle 45 by 45 degrees triangle okay here at the corner of our front view okay by using our t square and our 45 by 45 degrees triangle okay let us project 45 degrees okay did you notice these two intersecting lines okay very good we're going to use this in our step number five step number five is project down the two intersecting points to get 
the width of our right side view and to form its enclosing box okay again our base the t square plus the 45 degrees triangle okay we're going to project this down another here all i have to do is you're going to slide the triangle then look for the intersecting lines here okay then project this down okay did you follow okay very good step number six block in the details of the top view the front and the right side view okay let us uh, draw the details or we're going to get the measurement first on mm. the right side okay. we're going to get mm. from this point up to this edge we have four okay starting from zero we need four okay. zero two four okay the remaining that is 1.5 because our width of our right side is 5.5 okay from 4 going here we're going to get 1.5 okay, from 0 to 1.5 that is in between 1 and 2 okay we're going to get 1.5 okay we're going to use uh, these markings we're going to project this up to this 45 degrees okay of course we're going to use our triangle okay. let us use our t square as a base then slide our triangle look for the markings and project this up to 45 degrees okay another here okay have you seen the intersection of two lines okay we're going to project that horizontally on the top view okay. let us slide this triangle look for the markings here okay let's project that on the top view another here okay let us project on the top view okay that is the width of the right side and that is also the width of the top view okay let us try the height here for the details of the front view in relation to right side okay we're going to get one here we can lay out here or here they're the same okay we're going to measure from zero to one okay from zero to one okay another details here okay that is from the base of the right side going up that is one okay from zero to one okay that is one okay let us project this to the front view and here we're going to project that on the right side view okay by using our t square okay uh, look at for the markings and trace or let us project on the right side okay let us slide our t square from this markings we're going to project this on the front view Okay, that is now the details from our top view, front view, and the right side view. Did you follow? Awesome! Step number seven. Trace the visible edges with unheavier lines. Okay. 
we're going to use uh, heavier lines to trace the visible part of the edges okay we can uh, start on the top can be on the front or right side okay let us start on the top view okay this is our edge on the top this line one two three four okay we have here one two three four let us trace Don't be confused for the construction of the visible line. Always check from your pictorial drawing. Okay. So this is the visible edges. Okay. Then we're going to use our T square for this edge okay. okay we are now here on this part okay then this is the edge of the top then another here visible line this part line one two three four this line one two this is three and four we have here the visible line okay let us trace the visible part okay let us follow the front view then next is the right side view okay one two three this is four five okay this is line one this is two this is for number three and this is four okay this is for number three and let's proceed to number four Okay. Let us draw the vertical line one and two by using our triangle. Okay. It should be aligned with the top view. Okay. Okay. Next here on the side. about on the right side the horizontal lines are one two three four this is one two three and this is four okay let us trace line one line two horizontally this is two okay. this is line three from this edge up to this point okay. this is line three horizontally then this is the line four okay from this edge that is perpendicular to this point okay this is the horizontal line okay 
vertical line one two three four this is one two three and four okay let us use our triangle okay let us trace okay. here another visible line okay then here and last vertical line okay that is the visible edges did you find invisible line in our pictorial drawing great we have invisible lines where is the location of the invisible line if your answer is on the top and front view you are absolutely correct okay let us trace now the invisible part okay the invisible part is located here that is on this portion how about on the front view that is exactly here the exact location of your invisible okay. how to draw the invisible line the characteristic of this line it is a series of short dashes okay to show that this edge or this part is invisible okay another here horizontally align with the right side view okay this part is invisible or hidden portion okay because that is not seen directly this portion because that is being blocked by this edge okay the same with this edge if you're going to project on the top view okay the last step is step number eight label the top view the front view and the right side view okay the label of your top view is above the view okay top view okay the front view here below the view front view and this is the right side view okay then you can check the accuracy check the accuracy of your orthographic drawing compare to your pictorial drawing then the last step is to erase the construction line okay let's erase the construction line the remaining lines are those visible edges and of course the invisible part okay this is now our orthographic always remember the proper orientation of the views the top view is vertically aligned with the front the front view is horizontally aligned with the right side view and the space between views they are the same did you get it awesome how did you find the activity it is so easy isn't it i hope you learned from me today don't forget to like share subscribe and click the notification bell button for more updates and more upcoming video lessons Bye, babies!